Hello guys, today we're going to be making a foldable um, on, on operations and the keywords from word problems that help us figure out what operation to use. If you have a look guys, all we need is a sheet of paper and what I need you to do with it is fold it in half. So you're going to be folding it in half, um, not the long way, but the short way. From there, what I need you to do is you're going to go ahead and open it back up again and you're going to be folding the edges so that they meet at that center fold that you made. So you end up with these two flaps. What you're going to do from there is you're going to be folding your paper up or down as long as it's in half so that you end up with a paper that has four boxes in the front and that can open up. What you need to do from there is get your scissors and you're going to be making two cuts along the lines that you folded. So you end up with two flaps and the same thing on the opposite side. For a total of four windows. What you're going to do from there is we're going to go ahead and label each of these windows with an operation. So the first window we're going to go ahead and write addition. On the second window we are going to go ahead and write subtraction. On the third window on the bottom we're going to go ahead and write multiplication. And then on the very last one we are going to write division. Now, now that we're done writing all of the operation signs, we're going to go ahead and, and look at each of these and what keywords we use to look at the word problem and understand which of these operations we need. How we're going to do that, inside we're going to separate this into two parts. We're going to go ahead and put class inside each of them. And on the bottom part, so on this top flap we put class, on the bottom part, we are going to go ahead and put keywords. So we're going to write keywords on all of these, on the inside. So we're done with those two. We can open the other one. And we're going to go ahead and write. We're going to go ahead and write keywords on these bottom ones as well. Now, as a class, we're going to go ahead and brainstorm in groups, and we're going to fill each of these out, and then we're going to come together and fill out the key words for each of them. 